Okay, go ahead, John. Okay, this is the inspection that's required now by uh, Hollowet. The first thing you're going to do is go up to the machine, raise it up to approximately 16 feet in the air, or until you see this part of the mast exposed here in the there's a cover over the top here you're going to remove that first with two eight uh, ten millimeter bolts and once this is exposed what they're looking for is for you to see if there's a gap between this plate and the tube of the mast itself and you can see in this particular case there is an actual gap but this one is okay because there's a shim back here and there will be a shim on both sides the same way and that shim you got to make sure that there's no gap in between the shim or that that shim is tight in there if that's tight everything's good if you have a problem here where there is a gap then we need to call Hallowet and then they will tell us what the next solution is going to be for that now besides just checking for the gap you're also going to want to check on the bottom side, there's four bolts, one in each corner, and you make sure that those bolts look all the same. These are countersunk, and so if you look back here, can you see that? Okay, in the back corner, right back there, there's a bolt, okay? There's the same, on every corner, in here there's one just like that make sure that it looks as close to being flush as possible they may stick out just a little bit but if they stick out make sure all of them stick out the same and check all four of them around okay okay second part of the inspection is similar to the front but you have to take the plate off in the back part of the machine you're up at the same height as before, the 16 feet. Just make sure that when you take this plate off, uh, this is a good opportunity here for that plate to drop down in, so make sure you hang on to the plate. The gap that they're going to be looking for is in between this tube and this plate, similar to the one on the front. Along here, making sure there's no gap in there. In this particular case, there is no gap, and so this one here is okay. Also, you're going to check the same with the four bolts in one in each corner. There's one to the rear and one up here and the same thing on the other side. Now, on this case, they're not exactly flush, but they do stick out the same distance all the way around, which means everything is okay. If something looks out of, out of a place like one of them is sticking out too far, that is uh, worthy of being checked. And again, just have uh, just report that to Hallowet and then Hallowet will give us instructions what to do next.